What is up, guys? It is your boy Kittens coming back to you guys with a quick discussion about Hull Breaker Horror. And I am perusing here on Card Kingdom looking at some prices and stuff. And I feel like, you know, the $2.99 is incredibly soft for this card, just right out of the gate. I'll say that because this card is just a huge powerhouse in Commander. I mean, this thing goes infinite with every good mana rock that is out there. I mean, for me, I'm going to be slotting this into my competitive deck. It, it makes the cut. Um, because it just goes infinite with almost every mana rock I have. I mean, it go, the, some of the most common ones that people are use and people have pointed out are like Everflowing Chalice and Soul Ring. Um, you know, the, the reason it does that is the line of text of whenever you cast a spell, choose up to one, the bottom line of return target non-land permanent to his owner's hand. So you could have something like Soul Ring on board. You play the Chalice, bounce the Soul Ring, play the Soul Ring, tap it, get the Chalice back, play the Chalice for free, and then loop that to get mana. Now that loop works with basically every mana rock that's one and zero. I mean, for me, I mean, it's like I have Mox Opal, Mana Crypt, Mana Vault, Basalt Monolith plus Soul Ring. Um, I mean, it's literally like, it's it's a number of them. I mean, for me, I'm going to be playing Hullbreaker Horror. And if I'm playing it on a board with seven mana, I'm going to go infinite. Like, I, I don't think there's a, a board where I'd have two mana rocks that can't go infinite once I play Hullbreaker. And I feel like that's what a lot of people are going to be doing with it, just to trying to assemble super easy infinite combos with artifacts that people already use in basically any blue deck. So, uh, you know, just th having that line of text of can go infinite with, you know, I mean, it doesn't say that line of text, but as the line of text of like, you can go infinite with almost every mana rock in your deck. Um, and then on top of that, you can use it to control the board and pseudo counter spells by, you know, returning spells that are being cast. You can also, you know, target a permanent, a super problematic thing. I mean, you can even use this to set up going infinite. You could be about to go infinite and then you're like, oh, well, I have to get rid of this one thing on the board so that, you know, so the stacks piece is gone and then now I can go infinite. I mean, it's it's pretty powerful. I mean, you think about it in that lens of like, it can, it can also control what's on the board to allow you to go infinite. And then the same card then allows you to go infinite. And it's like, I don't know, man, I'm looking at this at $2 and 99 cents. And I'm like, that's not happening. This is, this is very clearly a 20 to $30 card, maybe 15s. But I, I mean, I'd say 15 would be like the common least, you know, least sought after copy simply because it goes infinite with everything. I mean, if you're playing a blue deck, like, or a deck that has blue in it, and you're just playing mana rocks, you should play Hullbreaker harder. Like, it is really that powerful. So I just, it's one of those things where this is going to see play everywhere. And it's, it's going to turn, you know, a lot of commander play groups from zero to a hundred. If this is like $2, because, you know, everyone's going to have a copy of it. And then all of a sudden every deck that has blue can go infinite. Right. So it's just one of those things where I'm looking at this card and I'm like, it's either going to get extremely pricey or it's just going to get banned. So I don't know. I'm not sure what's going to happen with this card other than the price rising because $2 and 99 cents is I mean, I'm going to pick up like 10 of these at $2.99, you know what I mean? So if you guys have enjoyed the video, like, subscribe, all that stuff, and, uh, you know, just enjoy the day, all that stuff. Peace.